Welcome to the Homeland Security Special Edition Report, Data Visualization. I'm Anna Brooks. Espionage and counterterrorism organizations all over the world connect their data mining and collection systems to every civilian communications infrastructure, including cellular, landline, and internet service providers, effectively acquiring the ability to intercept any phone call, location of cellular phone, SMS message, or email. The total amount of information is immense and constantly growing. All the information that's collected using signal intelligence, or SIGINT, in addition to large amounts of additional civilian information held by intelligence organizations such as population registries, border crossings, banking transactions, and more, is entered into massive databases that must support quick retrieval of large amounts of data. Whether it's an emergency that requires immediate response or a methodical infiltration of a criminal organization, the amount of data collected during every incident is massive. For example, using various technological systems, the daily routine of a lone terrorist or terrorist cells can be figured out, making them substantially easier to stop. The daily routine of an individual can be deduced by analyzing his electronic habits, his phone calls, the email he uses, and the name and nature of the websites he visits. Electronic intelligence systems can intercept massive amounts of information, much more than any human being is capable of processing. In order to present the large amounts of intercepted data regarding groups or individuals in a way that makes sense, and to help intelligence officers understand the information and use it effectively, the data has to be presented in graphical, visual ways rather than textual. In this way, maps of connections between individuals or groups can be drawn, illustrating the strength of the connections and their direction. One example is the path connecting individual terrorists carrying out attacks to the decision makers in their organizations, which are often religious leaders residing in other countries. An important and interesting way to display intelligence data to assist either counterterrorism or crime-fighting efforts is through the GIS-based maps. These maps can display a terrorist movement route, sometimes at extremely high resolutions capable of showing specific houses and vehicles. This can be done in real time and used to direct tactical units on their way to arrest or neutralize a terrorist. Thank you for watching our special edition. See you at the same time, same place next week. And for further information, click the link below.